Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to look at how to simplify fractions. In order to do this, we must divide the top number and the bottom number by the highest number that can divide into both numbers exactly. So if you look at the two sixths, have a think about which number will go into two and six. Well, I know they will both go into the two times table. So if we do two divided by two equals one. Don't forget what you do to the top, you have to do to the bottom. So six divided by two equals three. So the answer in the simplest form is a third. That's how we simplify fractions. Let's have a look at another one. If I did 30 over 40, like I said, we can start off with divided by 2 because they are both even numbers. But what other number goes into both 30 and 40? Have a think. 30 and 40 belong in the 10 times table. So if we divide that by 10, 30 divided by 10 equals 3. 40 divided by 10 equals 4. The answer is 3 quarters or 3 fourths. Let's have a look at another one. Have, let's have a look at 8 20 fourths. And the same method applies. We must find out the highest number that will go both into 8 and 24 exactly. Now we know 2 will go into it. 3 will go into 24. Let's do it together. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. But it won't go into 8. Will 4 go into 8? 4, 8, yes. Will 4 go into 24? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. I'm thinking of something else. I'm pretty sure that 8 times tables goes into 8 and 24. Let's have a go. Let's do it together. 8, 16, 24. So the highest number there will be 8. We tried 2, 2 worked, but it was too small. 3 didn't work. 4 did. And now 8 does. So let's go with 8. 8 divided by 8 equals 1. What you do to the top, you must do at the bottom. 24 divided by 8 equals 3. So the answer is a third. Let's have a look at one more. Let's have a look at 12 over 60. Now, once again, we know we can look at the two times tables. But will 3 go into it? 3, 6, 9, 12. Yes, it does. Will 3 go into 60? Let's do a quick method of short division. How many 3s go into 60? How many 3s will go into 6? 3, 6 will go into 2. How many 3s will go into 0? None. So the answer is 20. So yes, 3 does go into it. But what about the timetable 6? Will 6 go into 12? Yes, 6, 12. Will 6 go into 60? Let's have a go. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60. Yes, it does. It goes into it 10 times. So let's have a look at number 6. 12 divided by 6. 6, 12, which is 2. And what did we say? Uh, 60 divided by 6? We said it was 10. But I'm pretty sure we can still simplify that because they are both even numbers. Let's divide it by 2 for both sides. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. So our simplest form from 12 over 60, 12 sixtieths, is actually a fifth. There we go. That's how we simplify fractions. I hope it makes sense. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Thank you for the support and hopefully I'll see you soon in the next video. Thank you. Bye bye.